Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video is a short review on potentiometer. Now potentiometer as the name suggests, it is a potential measuring device, potentiometer. So it is a potential measuring device, potential measuring device. Now prior to potentiometer, you have heard about a device called voltmeter which is also used for measuring potential now the question arises that when we have got voltmeter then what is the purpose of having this potentiometer now basically suppose you have a 2 ohm resistor and through this 2 ohm resistor say a current of 2 ampere is flowing so basically the potential drop across this 2 ohm resistor is V is equal to R into I. So V is equal to 2 ohm into 2 ampere. So this is V is equal to 4 volt. So the potential drop across this resistor is 4 volt. But now if you connect a voltmeter, if you connect a voltmeter, now what will happen? Say out of this 2 ampere current, some current will also flow th through this voltmeter. Now say 0 0.5 ampere is flowing through the voltmeter. Then that implies the current flowing through the resistor will be this is 2 ampere. So 0.5 ampere gone in this side. So now you are left with 1.5 ampere. So that means now the potential drop across this resistor will be 3 volt 3 volt but what what is the actual potential drop 4 volt so that means there is an error in the measurement with the help of this voltmeter so if you want to uh, increase the accuracy that means you need to decrease the current which is flowing through this voltmeter potential measuring device so this basically potentiometer what it does is the resistance of the potentiometer is infinity, it is, it is having very high resistance. So practically no current will flow through the voltmeter and then the entire current will flow through the resistor and we will be able to measure the current potential. So now, so that means potentiometer is a high resistance device, it is a high resistance device. So practically we can say that its resistance is infinity. If resistance of this part is infinity, all the current will flow through this. So potentiometer is the ideal voltmeter whose resistance is very high or you can say it at infinity. Now resistance as we know, it is directly proportional to length provided area of cross section is constant. Area of cross section is constant. This is from the relation R is equal to rho L by A. R is equal to rho L by A. So that means if you increase the value of L, the resistance will increase. So basically potentiometer is an arrangement wherein you have a wooden board and uh, you will have wires of this 1 meter length, 1 meter. So wires are arranged like this. So these are the two terminals. Okay, so this is 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, 6 meter, 7 meter, 8 meter, 8 meter long wire. So this is the arrangement of potentiometer. So in a circuit, in your exam, the circuit of potentiometer can be represented like this or it may be represented like this. Suppose this is terminal A, this is terminal B, so this is A, this is B or it may be simply represented like a straight wire. So all these are basically potentiometers, symbols for potentiometer. But this is the actual potentiometer. This is how it actually it looks. Now, see, as we see that uh, the potentiometer does not draw any current. It should not draw any current for accuracy in measurement. But it is a current device, current measuring device. So all current measuring device must have some flow of current. So that current is provided by 
a circuit which is called the driver circuit that that means basically this circuit this part this circuit is going to provide the current to this circuit so that it works properly now you don't need to memorize this part because basically through this circuit through this driver circuit driver circuit now basically this, this circuit is going to drive the potentiometer so driver circuit is providing current so to provide current what do we need what are the basic requirements a, a battery a key so you have a battery and a key now there is one more requirement see this is an experimental setup so you will be taking more than one readings so how will you take more than one readings by varying the current now to vary the current what we do we take a rheostat so this is the rheostat this rheostat will alter the overall resistance thereby varying the current okay now suppose so this part of the circuit can be connected to the between these two terminals or between these two terminals it will have the same effect okay because both all the three are representation of potentiometer now suppose a cell is connected to this terminal and uh, this is the negative terminal this is the positive terminal this is connected to a key and then this is the key this is negative terminal positive terminal this is the galvanometer now galvanometer is connected to jockey and this jockey is placed at various points to find the point of null deflection in the galvanometer now suppose at this particular position at this particular position of the jockey the galvanometer this galvanometer is showing null deflection null deflection so that means that means potential drop across this part is equal to potential drop across this part now what what is the reason behind this so let me draw this part separately so this is b this is point j this is the, the cell of say emf e the key suppose i am not drawing the key now and this is the galvanometer this is the galvanometer now at this particular position the galvanometer is showing null deflection now if the galvanometer is showing null deflection that means no current is flowing through this part that means this point and this point they are at same potential and no current is flowing in this part means no current is overall current there is no current so that means suppose if emf of this is e and this is zero this point is at zero potential this point is at plus e potential so that means this is also at plus e potential this point is also at plus e potential plus e potential now if this is zero that means this is also at zero potential this is also at zero potential so what is the potential difference across this part it is e potential difference across this part is e that means potential drop across this part is equal to potential drop across this part okay now this is the working principle of potentiometer what is it it says that the potential drop across this segment across which the balancing length is obtained is proportional to the length of the segment potential drop potential drop across the segment bj is proportional to the length of the segment bj now suppose this length is l this length is l so it is proportional to l now this v what is this vbj potential difference between these two terminals is equal to this part potential drop between these two parts that is e so this e is proportional to l okay so if you remove the proportional symbol you have e is equal to i rho l now what is this i i is the current current in potentiometer potentiometer and rho is not resistivity it is resistance per unit length in this case resistance per unit length resistance per unit length so this is resistance per unit length into length that is resistance of this part into current flowing through this part and that this is 
nothing new actually this is if you can compare this this is ohm's law v is equal to ri and but this is the principle of this is the principle of potentiometer so now basically what i'm trying to uh, make you understand is see if you are clear with this concept that potential drop across a given length will be proportional to the length of the segment then it is very easy for you to understand the two two applications of potentiometer two applications two prominent applications are comparison of comparison of emf now basically com in comparison of emf what you need to do instead of this just one cell you connect two cells okay in this part you connect one more cell and for that cell also you measure the balance in length now suppose these two cells have emf e1 and e2 so for first cell you find the balance in length so e balance in length and e1 will be proportional to l1 suppose the balance in length is l1 for the second cell remove the connection for the first cell and now find the balance in length for the second cell and e2 is proportional to l2 that means e1 by e2 is equal to l1 by l2 so by this relation you can compare the emf of the two cells if l1 is greater than l2 e1 will be greater than e2 next is determination of internal resistance determination of internal resistance of the cell internal resistance of a cell now as we know that internal resistance r is equal to e minus v divided by v into capital r the internal resistance this is capital r is the external resistance this is emf this is terminal potential difference now what is the difference between emf and terminal potential difference emf is the potential drop across the two terminals of a cell when no current is drawn in this case also you are measuring the pot length when no current is flowing through the cell so across the cell you connect one external resistor when no current is flowing through this part then you find the balance in length so that balance in length will correspond to that balance in length will correspond to emf so that means e proportional to l1 now so remember you have now you have a external resistor across this part now when the current starts flowing through this part that means current is also flowing through the cell so when current is flowing through the cell that means now the balance in length corresponds to terminal potential difference so if you find the balance in length corresponding to terminal potential difference so v proportional to l2 now if you substitute these values over here what do you get we get r is equal to l1 minus l2 by l2 into r so by knowing the values of l1 l2 and external resistance r this is a known resistance you can calculate the internal resistance of the cell okay so see basic idea is first you should know what is the working principle of potentiometer comparison of emf is not a big deal for understanding the application of potentiometer in determination of internal resistance of cell first thing you need to understand is that this relation relation between internal resistance and emf terminal potential difference and other things and then you need to understand the concept of emf see emf is when no current is flowing through the cell terminal potential difference is the potential difference across the two terminals of a cell when current is flowing through the cell so if you have the concept clear then you will be able to understand these relations this when you will have emf when you have terminal potential difference and by substitu substituting these values over here you will get the relation for internal resistance now by knowing the values of l1 l2 and r you can calculate the internal resistance so i hope this with this you will be able to, uh, if you have i am expecting that okay this concept will be clear for more for most of you but if some of you are having some problem in this topic potentiometer this video will be quite beneficial for you and uh, i do hope that you do very well in your board examination good luck my best wishes are with you